Top of the afternoon, everybody. I'm Mike with Everything and More Store Show. Now, I hope everybody had a good New Year's Eve uh, and a good, you know, we're going to ho- hope we're all going to have a good New Year. Um, you know, a lot of prosperous events, a lot of uh, good situations and a lot of doors opening up for a lot of people. So I wish the best for everybody, all viewers, all people who are not viewing that eventually view. Anyway, without further ado, um, I wanted to go ahead and talk today about uh, about profit margins, right? When you come in to sell things on eBay. So um, with profit margins, there's going to be probably a difference when it comes to new things and to use things um, to what you're paying. So I could just speak for me. Different people have their different things. Some people are extremely cheap. I'm cheap too, but some people are extremely cheap. They just want to, you know, pay three bucks for something and then sell it for 80. But like, I, we all want that, but like, I'm, I want to maximize my profit intake. So if I see something that's brand new, so let me just tell you how I do it. All right, cool. So my usual profit margins for things, for used things, um, usually if something is cheap, like around $3, $4, I'm going to try to get at least 20 to 30 bucks around stuff like this, right? For used merchandise, right? So, um, that's a good margin for something so small because you got to think you might, let's just say double up on an item that costs $120. You pay $120. You can sell it for two forty. dollars Bam. One stop shop. It's cool. You straight. You got that profit. Who's really going to do that on an item that costs $5. So I'm going to take it, buy it, photograph it, list it, sit on it, store it, ship it all for a $5 profit. No, that no. So for a smaller profit margin, you want to do, excuse me, for a smaller price item, you're going to obviously want to do more. It's not going to be worth your time, right? So let me give you an example, right? If I were to pay $3 for this UCLA hat, right? It's a, it's a four, seven, whatever. And it's a, it's one of the snug fit type of caps or whatever, right? So let's just say, for example, kind of like that. Yeah. So let's just say, for example, I paid $3 for this hat, right? Obviously, it's not going to be worth it for me to sell it for $6, even if I had everything to make it easier, VA, photographer, all that, because at the end of the day, the profit margin is not there. You get what I'm saying? You're not you're not making anything worthy of your work. Um, so now if I get a $3 item, sell for $20, sell for $30, whatever, then that's cool. You got a decent profit margin at that point because, you know, it's a... It's, it's a good markup. It, it, I would say the minimum, like $20, $30, basically, to like, for me to maneuver anything. The only time I do anything less than that is if I buy like a big bundle. A lot of the time, these thrift stores that I go to, they have these big bundles, right? So in the bundle, I'll give you an example, right? I'll give you an example right now. So I get these bundles, right, of, of like hygiene, um, excuse me, of uh, hotel toiletries, right? I get these big bundles. And then there's all different brands and stuff. I get it for two bucks, right? This, so this is next to nothing. You get it for two bucks, right? Now, normally, I'm going to sell one of these for 20 to $30 because it's a lot of like 40, like 30 something probably cosmetics or products, right? Now, let's say, for example, I find something a little bit more valuable in the bag. Like in this case, there's a Dr. Teal's body, uh, uh, body oil. Uh, so... That in itself might be worth eight, nine bucks, whatever. In that case, I probably will list it just because I'm already doing the whole process. And instead of adding more value to something that no one, they're, they're not, because they're not searching up Dr. Teal's bottle inside of a lot of cosmetic. No, they just want the Dr. Teal's thing. So in that case, if it's eight, nine, 10 bucks, 11 bucks, 12 bucks, I would list it in that case. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not necessarily going out of my way to, uh, to, to make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So, so for a lower, uh, a lower, uh, margin, if it's in a bundle, I will, I will go ahead and do that. Right. But pretty much everything I like to be about 20, $30 minimum. So I used to before I used to get everything right. I used to scrape through, especially when I was first was like getting back into my e-commerce and all that. I used to scrape through everything, every little thing. If I could make $10, $5, whatever. After a while, I realized, like, bro, I'm shipping all day. 
like literally ship, like shipping a, a whole bunch of shipping and making like 200 something dollars. You look at all these packages, you think like, oh, I'm booming, I'm bubbling. Nah, it's like 200 bucks because you ain't even selling it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that I kind of like now, I like get a few of these and a few of these and a few in the middle and then like I kind of compile it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all going to sell eventually. So you're not going to sell all high ticket items one day and all... You know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, it's all going to sell. So, anyway. So, now, let's just say, for example, right? I'll give you another example. So, I gave you the... On the lower end of the spectrum, right? Where you have a, a you know, a lower price item. You want to probably get, like, $20. So, now, that's a good markup. This is... Now, you're, you know, it, 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 anywhere from four times to ten times the profit, right? So, you got to remember. It, things are almost free, but they really... Because it's your time, number one. It's your effort. It's you, you're listing it. You're photographing it, right? You're storing it. You're shipping it. So it's like a lot of time people are like, oh, well, what's the deal? Even if they get things free, it's free. Okay, but your time is not free. You get what I'm saying? You, you're not the people who's buying it. It. Let's say for example, I sell. Uh, I just sold these. I'm about to ship them, right? It's a pair of um, uh, uh, Metcon Nike Metcon cleats, right? Yeah, the guy probably could have digged in the shelves and got these for uh in a seventy five percent off. So he probably could have got these for three dollars, right? But he did not do that, right? So, like, he pays basically he paid for the service. You get what I'm saying? You're paying for the service. So anyway, on the higher end of the spectrum, right? For profit margin, these, right? So I went and got a bunch of these, right, at the Converse outlet. Okay, so basically what you got here is you got the Con, uh, con, I forget the name. Oh, here, this is right here. Um, it's the utility high converse, right? So this is the orange and the tan, right? I got a, I got a handful of these from the outlet, right? I got a, I got a good amount of them from the outlet. Now these, on the other hand, I'm only gonna triple up. So, uh, almost triple up, not even a full triple. So I got them for sixty dollars, right? I get these for $60, I'm going to sell them for $150. So it's like almost a triple. Now, the difference, number one, they're new, okay? So it's not as much, uh, for one, I don't have to clean anything, especially with shoes. I don't have to clean them, right? I don't have to do much. I don't have to get the alcohol pad on the bottom and scrub off the price. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to do, oh, there's a lot of things I don't have to do. Not to mention it has the box. So you got the carb appeal. You get what I'm saying? You have the carb appeal. It'll, it'll basically... Anytime you sell something new, automatically people are a little bit more, uh, 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 uh what's to open to like, okay, cool, like this will work. And it, so the homie just told me the other day, right? I just found this out. I, I don't even think, like, I never thought about it. 70% of the stuff sold on eBay is new, right? Shout out to my boy, Mississippi. But 70% of the stuff on eBay sold is new. Only 30% is used. That's crazy. <clears throat> so that being the case, it's a little easier to sell use, uh, new stuff than it is used stuff. Now, used stuff, yeah, you have an advantage because it's cheaper. You're getting it for next to nothing. You can price it at whatever is, you know what I'm saying, the market value. New is like, let's say I'm looking for these, right? I look for a pair of utility high converse. I type it in. No foot has been in this. So, and it, it, common sense, like, you, like, okay, this is what I want. And most people that are not open to, uh, Use shoes, they would never be open to it. So they're not even going to consider it. So anyway, my point is, is that this right here is probably like a good triple up. So that's a that's a decent on a brand new product, right? It's a straight shot. It's a, And it's a, not to mention, it's not just brand new. It's a higher profit margin. So you could go, so right here, right? I'm going to make $90, right? Inshallah. I'm going to make $90 off this. So I can make $90 off that. You dig what I'm saying? Or I could go and get a bunch of three dollar items and list them all. Uh, four was that four, four and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's one wop. Like why not? Okay. Now on the other hand, I got these right. They uh they like some platform, uh Converse, uh you know they they you know you know what they'd be on. They I mean whatever they'd be on is what they'd be on. That's their little thing or whatever. But anyway, um. Uh, yeah, so they got the stars, they got the uh, the, the canvas, something like this. It's a, you're gonna get a, a similar pr uh, profit margin. You get what I'm saying? 
Um, oh, by the way, if you're in Southern California, man, I'm going to give you two outlets for Converse that are very, very good, bro. They, they, so, okay, you can make your money. Just a side little note on this. Number one, the Pike Outlets in Long Beach, okay? They have a Converse store. It's a clearance Converse store. I got some of the most exclusive Converse there ever. Um, I got a pair of camouflage ones. I got the Marty McFly Converse, the ones that's like all the way halfway up the leg, but they still Converse. I got some... Um, I got some uh, American flag Converse. I got some. I didn't got a gang Converse. I got some yellow suede ones. I got a bunch of, and I got them all for like five, ten dollars, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you could go. You could basically source there for the lowest, like, and you're and you're gonna make your money, inshallah. So anyway, the point is, is that the profit margins on higher ticket items and newer items is probably gonna be a little bit less than it would be on you know whatever like like let's say for example you're going to the thrift store who's going to buy this for 30 bucks at a thrift store nobody right so they just slap a logo on a little label a little price label whatever and then you know and nothing but some you know what i'm saying the majority of it's just some free uh to most people right plus where i'm at is be a lot of hispanics um you know going like mexicans ain't dumb bro they know the price of things they're not stupid they they're not going to give you the like you know what I'm saying? Not saying that, you know, certain other people are stupid, but some, there are certain cultures, they, they don't, oh yeah, this will be great. You know what I'm saying? They don't care what the price is. They just, no. Where I'm at, it's not that type. It's a more humble type of place. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the profit margins on a lower ticket item, is nine times out of 10 is going to be like a, it's going to be a higher margin, but lower value, right? The profit on a high ticket item, Nine times out of ten, is going to be a little bit less of a margin, but a greater value. You know what I'm saying? So I'll give you another example, right? So I just saw this, right? It's a uh, La Octane uh, and Province Terra de Lumiere uh, perfume, right? Okay. So you know you got your little however many ounces and all that spray bottle, highly sought after perfume. You know whatever. I got it for twenty five dollars, but I sold it for almost a hundred dollars, right? It's like ninety eight bucks, ninety seven bucks. So. It's not, I'm not, I'm still out of quadruple. That's a good, you know, but I'm not getting times 10. You get what I'm saying? I'm not getting $240 for it. But the point is, is that usually the lower ticket item, you're going to have a higher profit margin, lower value. The higher ticket item, you're going to have a lower profit margin, higher, you know, greater value than that. So anyway, I hope this video was beneficial to you. Um, you know, if it was, please give me a comment, a like, and a subscribe, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This has been at 41 for a minute, but let's turn it up, okay, guys? So if you're viewing this and you just... Cool, cool. No, 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 no. Subscribe, bro. That's it. Hit the button. I'm like, I ain't gonna bother you. You feel me? Think I'm gonna telemarket you or something? Subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Salute, and I'm out.